What's going on, everybody? We're back on Dirt to Daytona. I know on Saturday when we uploaded that video, I know Sunday we don't we don't do any videos on Sundays. So since it's the race at Coda was yesterday and everything. And speaking of Coda, how did everybody like that race? So leave that in the comment section below too on that one. So I actually went through here and actually fixed some of the settings that we I did not know that I could do. So what we're running now is normal wear. We're running all flags. Man, well, yeah, all flags. Mandatory pit stops are off. Leagues are full damage. I, I don't know if this really goes with us. But I did do short race and the custom AI strength is 105. That's what it's always been. So the only difference is I went from this did have sprint. So I changed it to short. I'm going to see which one is short or medium, which one's better to do. So we're going to start off with short. And we did do all flags and normal wear and a mandatory pit stop is off. So that's what we're running here for the truck series on Dirt Today Tony here. Yeah, hopefully this dial. I'm not even looking at what happened on Saturday. It's I'm hoping it changes now after this one. So our next race we're going to be going to will be Phoenix. Great. This one should actually be a little bit better. I hope. I hope. So if you haven't done so, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's jump into Phoenix and let's see if these changes actually help us instead of keep hindering us. And let's see what this is going to be at right. 32.07. Truck felt really, really good. It felt like it was actually in the track pretty decently. We went out 21st, and it looks like we're going to be starting, golly, 23rd. Makes it a long day starting 23rd. Well, I guess we'll jump into the intros of this race. Welcome to the Valley of the Sun and Phoenix International Raceway. This gem in the desert has been shining since 1964. With its unique design and beautiful surroundings, it's earned its reputation as one of the top visits on the circuit. That was really quick, actually. Didn't think it was going to be that quick. All right, nine laps. Did that it's even go up green any? Going green. There's the green flag. Because it was on short, like the sprint races. So we went up to them. Um, was a short race now. so maybe we need to move it up to medium maybe I don't know how many laps medium is actually going to be like I said the truck felt good I mean it's going around with the old Phoenix layout one and two and you got the back here and still needs a maybe a little bit well still there. actually it's not bad we don't have to worry about pit stops do we nope no pit stops thank god still there. Okay, there we go. It actually All made the turn pretty decent. All right, we're up to 20 seconds. So this is actually better, I think, without having to pit stop. Nobody's trying All to clear. come in, and maybe we can get a good run here. I hit the, <clears throat> I hit the 291 there. That's actually pretty good. We're actually all close together. It's not bad. I wonder how much I'm actually losing to the leader. 5.6. Trying to get this thing to turn. It needs. It should have been loosened up. Maybe. A, a half a round high. down, I think that would have probably got this truck a lot better. Which is so weird seeing this Phoenix layout. It's so weird. Seven to go. 6.5 seconds back. I uh, closed it in pretty good. I helped him. Got into the back of him, but hey, I helped him. Saved it. We're battling. Coming off the back stretch here, or whatever you want to call this Still back there. part of it. Going into three here with the old layout. All clear. Let's see if we can get this thing to come off of four. Yeah, just not carrying a lot of speed. We that engine upgrade is what we're gonna have to get for. So what was that 125,000? So that's gonna have to be our next upgrade. We we do good in the turns, it's just getting this thing to turn really good. It looks like somebody got out of the groove there. Still 8.2. So we're off, but not as bad as I thought we would be off. Coming into one and two here, I'm driving this truck in deep, just trying to keep the speed going while we're with two to go. Nothing's really happened. I mean, we're still staying 16th. Nothing's changed. Nobody's blown up or anything. I mean, we we're back by 15 seconds now. So the truck's actually not been bad. It just needs to get more speed to it. So I think that engine upgrade would be better. Is what I'm gonna guess. 
So we're coming to the final lap now. Last lap. I mean, there's nothing really else to really say about this truck. I mean, it feels good. It just needs a little bit more speed is what I think. These two guys up here in front of me has been battling literally the whole entire race. So we're half a track actually behind the leader. So he had a lot of speed. And it's just a short amount of time. So, I mean, I would rather come home 16th knowing that's the best we had. And not being frustrated like I was on Saturday. Because this right here is a pain. But. So the 90 truck won the 62 of Brendan Gone came in second. We came in 16th, which is better than what I thought we would actually do. So I actually have to say that's actually not too bad, actually. I don't know why I was sitting there watching a blank track. So it looks like the 90, the 62, the 18, the 88, the 46, the 14, the 07, the 60, the 08, and the 50 rounds out the top 10. So we now know our truck is a 16th place around there with no upgrades right now. So we got to get these upgrades. So but we got $18,889 for total. Winnings was $25,732. And expenses was 3880 Not bad. The 90 truck won, of course. And Real Racing Gaming, who climbed from 23rd to 16th place, I had a tough time qualifying. But my team did good. Did a good job with the adjustments. Eh, it was whatever. So we finished 16th, so it still should keep us in 16th in the standings, which is so freaking bad. Like, I wish we have enough money to do an upgrade. Because we definitely need... Oh, 142000 Now, we might be talking about this engine upgrade now. I think that's enough for it. If I'm not mistaken. Is it? Engine. Let's see here. The next upgrade, 125 We have enough for it. Let's actually see what it does. Uh, oh, I don't know if that even does anything. Does it really? It really does not do much. Thought it would. I mean, if we did this upgrade, what would that be? Staying pretty much the same. Okay. Now let's actually look at this arrow. How much of a change do we get with arrow? Just a tad bit better. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Exhaust? Let's see what that does. That We don't have enough for that yet. But that pretty much stays the same. I mean, it, I don't know. It really doesn't change much with any of them. So we might as well just do the engine upgrade. So I guess it will be part three of the engine upgrade. Let's actually see. Yeah, it does a little bit better. A little bit better. I mean, it's just a tad bit better. I mean, we go from 539 horsepower to 543. Let's see what it does. Yes, go ahead and do the big, what is that, Rough Boy Torque Engine. Hopefully that does something that makes us better. I hope it does. So I guess we'll find out on the next episode of Dirt to Daytona. If you'd like to see that one, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope everybody's enjoying their Monday and actually not frustrated after ending this one. So that's a pretty good start there. So I hope everybody's enjoying their Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.